In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to construct a crankshaft, a connecting rod, and a piston, and animate it. So first, let's start with our crankshaft. I'll select the circle tool. There's my crankshaft. I need to put an axle right in the center of that. I'm going to scale that down. So it's not quite so large. Maybe zoom in a little bit. I'm also going to double click because I want to make that a motor. Double click on the axle, click on the motor, and now it's powered. So if I start the simulation, we see that the wheel rotates. And of course, that's what we want it to do. So I'll stop the simulation. I'll zoom back out. And now we need to build our connecting rod. Well, I'm going to start with a box tool. I'll make a long rod. Then I'm going to put the circular ends on the rod this way. I create a circle, put it near the uh, end of the rod. Then I double click to get my combine shapes and I want to add that shape to the end of the rod and there it is I'll do the same thing over here double click combine shapes add to the end of the rod and I can now get rid of that circle and there's our connecting rod I want to scale that down a bit and so I'm going to shorten it about like that. Well, we'll see. I may have to fix that. Now I'm going to rotate it into the 90 degree position. Then I'm going to use the move tool and I want to have that position that way so I can find out where the bottom of the piston is. So I need to kind of stretch this out perhaps just a little bit more. Now we need an axle here and we're going to need an axle there but now I'm going to build the walls of a cylinder so I'll use my box tool double click to clone and that's going to be the cylinder walls in which the piston moves now I'll use a box tool again and create the piston and now I'm going to kind of reposition these with the move tool. Don't want them so close that it's going to jam it up. Well, let's select the piston and then I'm going to want to send that back because I got to put a axle there. So I'll use the selection menu, move selected to back. Now I can reposition my piston just a little bit. Now I can put an axle right there. And uh, I better fix these two blocks or they're going to fall down when the simulation starts. So I'll put a fix there, a fix there. And of course, if it works, I can come back and, and scale those. Well, now let's run the motor and see what happens. Well, it's wanting to run, but maybe it doesn't have enough torque. So I'm going to double click here and get back to the motor menu. Now notice I have a torque slider. So I'm going to increase the torque of that just experimentally and then see what happens. Ah, there we go. At least it's running. Now we can do some adjustments. So I'll stop the simulation. I'm going to zoom out a bit and then I'm going to use the move tool and maybe run the simulation till it's right about there. Now I can move this block in perhaps just a little bit more and also I can move it up a little bit. Let's see if this is a little better effect. Well, it's working. I'm going to stop. It's still now. Maybe I can move this block in just a little bit more. 
Now, if I zoom out, my zoom tool, use my pan tool, center it. There's my crankshaft, connecting rod, and piston. Now, it needs a bit more tinkering, a bit more polish, but I think you can understand and see the basic construction uh, steps for creating the crankshaft, connecting rod, and piston. And of course, I can increase the speed of that. I'm going to stop the simulation. I'm going to double click here on the motor again. And notice the motor speed here is 15 RPM. I can maybe crank that up a bit more. Like that. Well, there's a little bit more complicated mechanism than uh, any of the tutorials in the past. But I think it shows you the steps you can go through to create some really cool animated uh, machines and mechanisms. Again, as you work with Algodoo, have fun.